17, 2004, another interview with Chief Black Thunderbird Eagle. How are you doing today? Well, thank you. Rahobat. Rahobat. Rahobat to the family. Um, my question um, today is um, for you throughout the two years that, um, you know, you've been incarcerated. Mm -hmm. I know that myself and people um, of the tribe have been praying. Um, who are we praying to? And um, <laughs> are we praying to the ancient ones, the old ones? Is it, who are, who, who are our ancient ones? That's interesting. Ancestors? People, that's the first time somebody ever pointed that out, that there's a difference between the ancient ones and the old ones. Right? The old ones on the side of England and the ancient ones on the side of Inky. Ancient, the reason why they say it, because Inky came to earth and time starts here, and that's how you get ancient. But with old, there's no time. And that was Enlil, who was originally from the heavens. See, Enlil was given charge of the heavens, and Enki was given charge of the earth. Mm -hmm. Okay? Both of them were the sons of Anu, but they were the son of the ninth Anu. When you open the holy tablets and you see a face of a person there as Anu, and you wonder, well, how can the Most High, or El Kalum, as some people like say, how can he have a face? That is the physical manifestation of the ninth Anu. You have to go back nine other Anu before you get back to one that's not physical which is going to be in the last revision of the Holy Tablets. People just didn't wait to hear what's going on. Okay? So now Enki was sent here. He's the one they would be calling Yahweh in the Bible when they say in Genesis chapter 2, and the, and the Spirit of, you see, the Spirit of God, or the Ruach of the, you know, of God moved upon the surface or hovered above the surface of the waters. That was Enki and them coming here. And then other groups came. So they had different groups that came to this planet, right, mm -hmm. to, uh, to germinate this planet. In, in, in the, all of them are Anunnaki. Now you have the Neteru, the Elohim, the, the uh, Orisha. You have all these different names and they're all applying to the same thing. Neteru or Neterat is nothing but another way of saying the Anunnaki. They don't, they, the Anunnaki, as you can tell, is not really a name. It's describing an event. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Elohim or Elohim is not really a name. It's describing a position. You follow what I'm saying? Yes. And Netir from Netiru is also describing, describing an act, like saying the righteous. Mm -hmm. Okay? So what people are doing is getting this all mixed up, and they use the word El Kalum. El Kalum is an Arabic word meaning the all. And it doesn't have to apply to divinity. It can mean all the people in the room. All Kul, kul is used like all the people in the room also. Right. Okay? Kul, kum, kulum, all of them. It doesn't mean. It's, it's not so much the word. It's not so much the name. It's, it's, it's the source behind all of it. Now, in Islam, they say Allah. Right? But then in the Quran, you have Alihat, which is plural, and Alihin, which is dual. Mm -hmm. Most Muslims won't recognize that the name Allah itself can be plural or dual, because they are now looking at the name instead of the force or the energy or the life or the essence behind all that. Mm -hmm. So people are directed, and some people say, Jesus, Jesus is Tammuz, Jesus is Horus, Jesus is Maitreya, Jesus, right. you know, Jesus is Krishna. That's just a, a name of a of an event that took place in ancient Egypt that has re-manifested itself over and over again and moved around the world from culture to culture to people to people. Right. The only ones holding on to the facts and the secrets are the real original El Banayan, which is the original Masonic Lodges, not even the ones today that are surfaced in the day from the 17th century or from letters and poems, etc. that came about to the Euros who got influenced by the original Egyptians. You follow? Mm -hmm. You know, so it's in me, if you talk to me, who am I talking to? Right. I'm talking to the Anunnaki. Who me? I'm talking. To, I'm talking with Inky, right. like Murdoch. You know what I'm saying I'm. I'm dealing with Inky because I know who Inky is. And I know who Inky's family is. And I know who Enlil is, and I know who Anu is. And I know when, I, when the Holy Tablets was coming, I know who was there and what who was talking to. Right. And I knew that behind the face of Anu, there was a force that goes back further than that, nine dimensions. But everything was not for the for the uh, mortal ear at the time. Right. And that's why in Christianity they they use the word faith. Mm -hmm. You know, or in, in Islam, these were mu'min or iman, faith. But when it comes down to with Nuwapin, you say, listen, Nuwapin, I mean, let me teach you about Anu and Iki. They want me to take, make, well, make God manifest for us so we will believe. That sounds very familiar, right? Yeah. They want everything. They don't want to put any trust mm -hmm. in their leaders or their teachers. They want me to put everything on. Had I gave them everything the way it was coming to me, the devil would have long time, the reptilian shape shifters would have long time saw where I was going and nipped it off. Mm. I had to put out sporadic, I had to jump from place to place, I had to jump from name to name, I had to jump from religion. And in each one, and each time I gave you a little something more right. about the whole big picture, which we now come down and put, now you're going to start seeing the whole picture come together as one thing, and you're going to see everything from day one, from, from the time the seventh seal was opened in 1970, all the way up to now, to the year 2000, when you see the alignment took place, you had the planet shifting, you had the, the double eclipses, you had all the prophecies come true between 2000 and the year 2000, 2004, mm -hmm. or 2000 to 
2003, in fact, when you know, had meteorites going by, you had hell about it, all these things, not coincidental, these were all part of signs and symbols for, for, for those who know to log what day and time we're in. Many people don't want to believe it, they want to hold on to it, they don't want to deal with the facts, fine by me. I mean, I know what I am, I know who I am, and I know that my miracle is in my works, not in my mouth, and not in my hands. Right. My miracle is in the books that I write, in the messages coming across you on the truth that you're getting. Right. Okay? Okay, so, in, in saying that, how do we know that our prayers are being answered if people Your are... Your prayers are being answered now, because you can see how the ancient ones and the old ones are manifesting their mistakes. Mm -hmm. They're having fun with them, making them put their foot in their mouth. Just by the judge trying to lock down a transcript, he's going to tell the whole world he's hiding something. Just by the fact that he locked down the court without justification, he want people to see it, it's going to show people that he's hiding something. The fact that there was no DNA showing he hide something. The fact that they had no real evidence, no pictures, no videotapes, and all the stuff they posted is showing that they're hiding something. So how long can they play this game? So the ancient ones are building us up. Just like when Jesus said about Lazarus, and his sister said, well, Lazarus is dead. He said, no, he's, he's not sick until death. He's sick until the glory of God, as he put it, and the glory of the Son. That's how he made it clear. Well, the same thing is happening in a very similar sense. What's happening is they're making this big thing up, and it's going to be so dynamic and so great, right, that when it gets blown up, it's just going to happen. Now the whole world is moving on. What in the Wapians? What does that name the Wapian mean? Who is that guy, Amanubi or Akata? Who is that uh, Malachi? Why are all these names? Why are they Muslims? Are they Christians? Are they Jews? Are they Masons? Are they Egyptians? Are they, are they Indians? Are they Samarians? What are they? Are they pagans? You know, but what, what, you know what the main thing is? What is that? What are they? Mm -hmm. Who are they? Why are they? When are they? Next comes out, where are they? Right. Right here. Right. Here we are. You've been looking for all the time. We have the answer. We are the answer to your problems. Mm. Now, with everything that's going on and things that's transpired, could this whole thing have been presented, or is this some sort? Is this some sort of divine prophecy or divine? All this is part of it. They, they, they said this. Whole, I'm beginning to realize now. It's all been set up like this. Mm. This was their way to make everybody worldwide know who we are, so okay. that everybody will get the truth and nothing but the truth. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. And that's the, that comes in the form of Nuwapu, and it's coming in the form of right Nuwapu. knowledge. It's coming in the form of Nuwapu, and it's coming in the right form of right knowledge, and it's coming from the Anunnaki, and it's coming from the above. <laughs>
anybody who organizes themselves amongst them from that from that league, they can't. The, black, the, the spell is a self-destructive spell of ignorance. You follow? Yeah. And they, the whole trip is to self-righteousness. So most of the people there who are responsible under the spell think they're out of the spell. They're not. These white people are still under the spell, and that's why they're putting money in front of everything they're standing for. And everybody's trying to figure out ways to make a hustle out of this. How can I get the pledges? How can I get this? And then, you know what I mean? And then when, when, they, when someone stopped it, they get mad, and they go attack the person, which namely was a Rochelle or a Rip, they go after them and attack them. You know what I'm trying to say? Yes. Because of the fact that they're, they're not really attacking the person, they're attacking the spell, the dollar bill, the power of the owl and the dollar bill. They worship the almighty dollar. So everybody wants to go off, organize their own thing, set it up, you follow them, make money off of people, look like a leader, look powerful, you know, set a program, they're mad because they got plans and things I got plans I want to do, and it doesn't work with what we're doing. I think it's a propagation to make fishes of men. I think it's a skit to wake up our people. People want to do things on the side, little music ideas on the side, little hustles on the side, clothes on the side, anything on the side, but the, you know and then it was used as an excuse to say, well, dang, I'm using this because I want to reach people. In actuality, all they're interested in the money. You follow? Yes. And so they'll just create, come to you with all kinds of new plans. I got a new plan idea. And then when you get mad, they say, they don't want to accept my idea. It's your idea because your idea's got to do with money. You ain't got nothing to do with saving no souls. You right. mean, just because a person puts a hat on that you make, that ain't saving your soul. They ain't saving their soul. I think it's to, to get people out the midst of the devil to break the spell. Right. Black people are still under the spell, and we already passed the year 2000. We had the year 2004 where the devil's ruler up. He lost all his powers now. Every day you see he's losing power. He's weakening and weakening and weakening. You know, you know the prophecy from 2012 to 2011. It keeps on going. You know what I'm saying? Right. So the spell of Leviathan, as they call it, or the spell of you put Leviathan backwards, you get you know, the founder of the same time in church, is all based on worship of the beast. Right. You follow? And they're still worshiping his image. They're still, you know, idolizing him. I just I just see some of the pictures I saw of different people. And I see that these people really have a progress. They just call themselves the Wapin, but they still are walking around with clothes, exposing themselves. They think they got to wear tight clothes and draw men. They got to, you know what I'm saying? They do all kind of things. They, they're still under the spell of lust. The power of lust is what's ruling all these people. So the men are always trying to find new girls. The girls are coming there trying to show off for the men. They got to get in the you gotta talk a certain way, and some people are still smoking cigarettes, and some of them are still smoking marijuana, some of them are still drinking alcohol, beverages, some of them are even eating bad food, and pork and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So the spell is still small and strong. That's, that's what's giving this devil this power right now. We're feeding this power by our doubts of ourselves and our unhonesty. The fact that people are living two lives and not one. In one respect, they pretend they're with you, or pretend they're so righteous, and pretend they're so devoted, but then they're sneaking off and they're doing all kinds of things underhanded and behind each other's back. Sneaking all that kind of stuff, and that's feeding the devil. That's the nectar of Satan deception. Right. And there's two principles: is lust, lies, and murder. Now, right. Those, I mean, there's three principles: lust, lies, and murder. which you find in their book, in John 8:44, they mention right in there about the things the devil's about. He lies. He masters a master of liar. He's a master of lust, and he and he's a destroyer. That's mm-hmm. his nature. And as long as y'all keep feeding into his nature, he's gonna have it. Right now, we got them on balance. They all messed up. They don't know what to do. They trying to figure out how to get rid of this thing, but it's got too big. They lie too much. They they. they it so much, you know what I'm saying? That the spell is gone, so they capitalize on the weak among us who, whose lights are turning from green, from the green light to the amber light, because they get caught up on the dollar bill, the almighty dollar. How I can make a hustle out of this, I'll make some money out of Malachi Wise, I'm going to sell this and sell this t shirts or flags or cards or anything they can do on the side to make money for themselves and tell the world, I'm doing this for pops, I'm doing this to help get pops out. So, what did you take that? Do you go to land every week? No. Are you participating in what's going on in the land every day? Well, I sent somebody over there, but do you go there? Well, I don't have the time. Then you ain't really down. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Stop yeah. fighting. Let the world know that you're full of it. And move on to your own thing. Stay away from us. Right. Okay? Right. All right then. Well, um, with all that being said, and you haven't written 407 books. And more than that, up to date. More than that, up to date. Mm-hmm. Um, and going into knowing that this is the doctrine and the wapu that you've been giving us. You've been doing this for over 30 years. What must we do to break the spell? First of all, is wu nu wapu, right? The world is really the world is really wu nu wapu. I didn't okay. tell anybody what the word really was because I knew they were going to desecrate it, put on their little stuff, put on little flags, you know, little posters, and just desecrate what we're doing like they always do. The bottom line is, when I put the books out, I put the books out out of sequence. I didn't teach people a pattern of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I bounced around from place to place. I bounced around from culture to culture. I bounced around from religion to religion. The idea to idea, philosophy to life, science to facts, and so But in the midst of it all, it was a pattern of liberating the mind from the belief system that the Bible, the Quran, and other religious doctrines created by Nebuchadnezzar, which is called Nebu, which is the son of Murdoch and Sepenet. That son was responsible for forming religion on the planet Earth to control the minds of people. He got with Tammuz, and they put together the text of 
follow me. All right. So what I did was I was trying to get everybody around to the truth, the facts. And that would help break the spell. Right? But I come to find out that people pick and choose. I talk to some people. They're into the metaphysical part of their books. They're into the AEO only. I met mean, another person. They're into the racial part. They want to talk about who the Canaanites are and who the Amorites are. Another person wants to talk about the Egyptology. I'm into the Egyptologist part. Another person wants to go to the Anunnaki part of it. You know what I'm saying? People, instead of following the procedure and doing what they're supposed to do, dice the books down, took it apart, then men went off, sit and sit down, tell their family the part they want. Some people are still teaching their children the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. You know what I'm saying? They didn't move over. When I say move over, they never really picked up Nubik because Nubik meant they had to study their ancient uh, Moorish language. They didn't want to do that. And, that. and they could be questioned as to their pronunciation and their articulation. So what they did is jumped on any language that they can, you know, say that they got control of pronunciation of it. <laughs> right. They really deal with the fact that a lot of people are just ego tripping. I, mean, I understand a lot of Negro men have been subject, they've been under, under the pressure of the white man or worshiping his image so long, wanting to be him. But they really can't listen to me or nobody else. So when they get their little family, they got to form a little organization around themselves. They got to, and in the process, very periodically, my name may come up, but then they got to subtly, but you know, but strategically beat me down in their own kind of way. In order for them to keep a following, visiting their house, or visiting their school, or visiting their little organization, or whatever the case may be. And I'm not talking about uh, Brother Latif. You know what I'm saying? Like they go say that people, you know, I'm talking about, I'm not talking about Brother Latif, I'm talking about many others out there that are doing this here. They follow? Mm-hmm. So yeah. all the books I wrote won't mean nothing if they don't really get down, have study classes, circles, people get into it with pencil papers, get the online strong sector. You know what I mean? Check the books we tell them to read inside the books. It ain't going to mean nothing. Right. It should just be a bunch of information. Just like we're the, we're the only organization that has put this much information out. The Nation of Islam had a lot of books, but they didn't have nowhere near about the information. Right. They follow it. And the same thing with Yahweh being there, but nobody's on this level of information or out formation to be more <laughs> to fix your intellect as opposed to your intellect. I mean, nobody has an understanding. Everybody's still in the understanding. Nobody's the, you know, everybody's dome is not full of it's not full of information. They're not wise. So you have this ongoing ignorance, and ignorance and ignorance is being perpetrated because the people, this men out there, they're the ego tripping it, and they want to look great in front of us. They want to look heavy in front of the sisters. So they don't dress the way we say dress, or they don't do this here, or they don't do that. They got to do it. Then we say you have a big gathering. You know, you have a big gathering. Everybody come a certain way. Certain people come dressed the way they want to dress. Yeah. Trying to look a little different. I'm trying to look. All that there is just the devil. That's the, that's the devil's way of getting inside a person. Saying we need you to break the pattern because we can't get a copy. Everybody, we can't get a copy. And copy going. And that's why in the Muslim world they had a thing called a sunnah. We had everybody was so busy they was that they, they, they taught them follow the way of your leader, act like him, walk like him, talk like him. And that's why that thing grew so fast. Mm. And that's why it's growing so fast. But when it comes down to here, everybody picks up a little bit what I say. And, I tell, and I'm not telling people to walk like me, talk like me, and be like me by far, because they can't. You follow? But I'm saying that they, just like none of the Muslims can really be Muhammad, and none of the Christians can really be Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Right. But they have a pattern which they follow. The Jews didn't follow Moses' pattern, and that's why they're, they're, they're disappearing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The Christians try to follow Christ, and they call themselves Christians Christ. So therefore, they're moving. The Muslims try to follow Muhammad. Muhammad is Muhammad. They don't like the way Muhammad is, but it does say, and that's why they're expanding. And you're, gonna, you're not going to get very far. You follow? Yeah. If you don't have some type of you know, steps you or procedure you follow. I laid it all out, but people don't want to cooperate. They want to do their own thing because men are tripping. Mm-hmm. And they become envious. They're jealous of me. And they, they pretend they love me. They pretend in the congregation. But they really jealous. But when they, they because their wife say, boy, Pops is smart. That, that reads a little jealousy in the man. He gets insecure and he's because he's sitting across the, between the teacher, the father, you know what I mean? The preacher and the man. So they got to keep hearing about a man like everybody else. But every time you make me a man like everybody else, then you show why. Then why don't you have as much as intelligence? You make me as equal as you, then you, all you're doing is fulfilling your inefficiencies. Mm. And so that's what's happening. It's, it's really coming from a lot of people who are all ego tripping. A lot of guys out there who just want to take portions of what I teach and then change it to suit themselves. And they, they use it to pull women. They use it to form little cliques and little sub cliques. And they want to make like they're in contact with the Anunnaki or they want to make like they're in contact. They want to make like the Dem Murdoch. Some people call themselves Murdoch. Some people call themselves Amin Lubidis. And some people call themselves Nikhil. You know what I mean? And the right. Biru. They just get, they get crazy. Instead of just staying in their place and getting immersed with this, and this ain't no joke. Same, you know, this ain't no Boy Scouts of America. This is real. Right. Don't you see the prophecies unfolding? Don't you see the climatic changes? Don't you see the devil has lost all his power in the world? Don't they people see their two eclipses in, 19, in uh, 2003? Don't they see the beetles have been sighted? The 10th class have already been sighted? Don't they see the, the, uh, the storm of meteorites are coming towards this earth? The, per- the water has been poisoned with wormwood. You can't tell the men from the women. The animals are being born with two and three heads, frogs with two and three legs. People put double up on Siamese streams, more diseases and pestilence, and they can control the ice caps are melting. If it's sun, the ozone 
young ladies getting married, don't y'all see that the prophecies are fulfilling themselves and found in the Holy Tablets? Everything is opening up, but then people are going to take it at this point and start ego tripping. Right. And start, you know, going off on the same You think the devil snatched me above his feet because they came to conclusion, that's the one. It ain't those other people. He's the one with the knowledge. That's the man with the right knowledge. That's the man we got to get rid of. Right. That's why they snatched me off the street. They knew what I represented. They knew I represented nothing but facts. Right. They knew I didn't have a belief in my system. They knew all that stuff of belief in this belief. It sounds good in conversation. They knew I'm like, I want no facts. That's not true. Throw it away. That's not true. Throw it away. That's not confirmed. Throw it away. And they don't need a generation of blacks coming along like that. They need no Nubians or Nuwapians coming up with that mentality. That I don't want to believe nothing you say if you can't prove it. Because you can't prove anything he says. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's a tactic that the, the devil's using. And regardless how many books I write and how much I try to explain, how much I teach. You, you follow? Yeah. The niggas ain't going to listen because there's always a nigga sitting up in the crowd who wants to impress his wife or his girlfriend that he's as smart as I am. Mm. And that's all he needs. And she might buy it. Because he's been done because he's afraid that she get around the land and get around brothers that are smart who really study, who really, you know, really put their heart in it to the letter. Then you'll see, my husband ain't really studied. He ain't no real, you know, no weapon. He's funny. My husband still smokes beef. My husband still gets drunk. My husband still, you know, running around using vulgarity and chasing a whole bunch of different women. You'll see how phony it is. So you got to stop them from coming to the land, set up different places, you know, all kind of games. Right. So in actuality, regardless how many books I write, these people are not going to follow them. It don't make no difference. And right. that will be the devil's power and so it's stay on them. And what, I, what I'm going, the devil's trying to stop me point blank. He don't care about the land, he don't care about our kids, he don't care about that he's trying to stop right now. Mm -hmm. You see that this is the solution. This is the answer to their problems. They see that. Right. If all that, they didn't want this day to come when I take and I pull all the books and all the teachers over the years and pull them around and say, so now this is what I was saying. Mm -hmm. And they knew that was coming. At, they knew I was going to start in 2003. They knew what I was doing. 2003, they knew I had that three and a half years prophesied in the Bible, which takes you from 2002 to 2003, June. So they knew in June of 2003 what I was going to do on the land. They said, we got to get him off the street then. We don't care how we do it. Rush, mess up, trip over ourselves. But get this man off the street before 2003. Cut him off from his people. That's why other inmates get bombed, other inmates go out. Other inmates. I was cut off from the telephone. They made sure the whole year 2003 there was no contact. Right. And after that was over, they knew the prophecy, the prophetic date was gone. Okay, we could let them talk to people on the telephone now. We couldn't do it because the things are all confused now. They, 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 the alignment was there. All the stars lined up. The, 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 the planets were in alignment. We had the sun and the moon eclipse, which is representing the moon and the sun cycle together. They knew they knew that was a transformation of power and that everybody was open up at a certain hour on, in June, right? When the summer solstice came in, they knew that all of y'all would have been opened up. And I was told everybody gather around the permit at this particular time and watch at the same time. But I couldn't say it to anybody. I had to wait. But they said, they knew it. The devils would know who they are. They said, snatch him off the street. Mm. And the people are going to array the array. They'll start arguing, tell them, fuss with these other, turn against the other, ego tripping, not liking this one, not believing this one. And, and then the slavery shortly destroy him. But the most high, I knew, stepped in again mm. and made a way for us to get to people again now, like these states. Right. All, and people are starting to boom, come together. They come all years. The nation is Islam, the vibe is All of us are coming together now. So we got to work as one. Like we got to not stop going around saying Elijah Muhammad is not the messenger of Allah. If he says he's the messenger of Allah, that's who he is. We got to stop saying Clarence 13 is not Allah. If he says he's Allah, that's who he is. We got to stop saying Noble Jolly without saying the prophet Noble Jolly. If that's who he declared who he is, that's who he is. Etc. Et Etc. Stop going to I'm better than you know, and I know more than you, and I'm smarter than you. No, we all got to get together. If Uncle Elijah Muhammad left Minister Louis Farrakhan in charge, and Minister Louis Farrakhan is in charge of Islam, we must respect that. Right. And I'm not saying that because I'm incarcerated, because I won't always be incarcerated. I still, I'll get out. I'll still teach the same thing when I get out. Understand? All they're trying to do is get you past a period of time for the truth. Right. Even the era of lies again. Mm. Right? Yes, and I yes. know there was a saying that um, that you've said plenty of times is that um, the hourglass is almost empty. And at one point in time you said the hourglass is empty. That's what right. was meant by that statement? If the hourglass is empty, all the time is run out. There's no more time to play games. Time is run out. The devil's time is up. He lost his power. Well, respect his economic structure is gone, his manufacturing ability is gone, his, his education, he's nothing. He's nothing no more. Nobody in the world respects him no more. He's mm. nobody. Just now is about just coming down gradually. He knows it. So he's trying to create power by controlling people with one worldism, by just dominating people by force. Going to everybody's country, just taking it by force. You can't do it because you're not strong enough right. to hold on to everybody. And eventually, the, eventually, the different people in this country that are participating in the system are going to get mad about the abuse they receive in individuals, like all the black soldiers and all them people. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, I'm going to say, man, I'm, I'm, my, my grandfather, my mother was 
we on the inside know how many mistakes he made. He couldn't even constru- he couldn't even construct this system right. Right. They can try to hide it. They can go to the, p- the sentence in and make it look good on television and exaggerate it and make like they can fake it. They can do all that coloring because that's what they do. They're fakers. That's what television is about. Pay for television is a book of fakers. Fake mm-hmm. stories, fake lifestyle, fake me- deaths, first rugs, fake uh, fake robberies, fake future. Everything is fake. And they've been mm-hmm. so you get you can't get the re- you get the real mixed up with the phony. Right. The reality is the case is bull crap. That's right. the reality of it. But the, for the public, they can believe anything they feel like believing. You understand? Know mm-hmm. But I know most of the people looking at that case, and they really, who have any sense, say this is crap. But it's just not me. There's a whole bunch of people gathering with you today on that land. Right. That who all have the same problem, and something must be done. These That's people right. must be stopped. Because they right. cannot just keep on going and lying and lying like that. First of all, the jails are overcrowded. Mm-hmm. And they're greeting angry people who are only going to come out even more angry of all races. Mm-hmm. You follow? Yes, uh, what it meant in our glass is empty me this time is over. The end, you know, bye, finish. He lost power, he lost respect. He even loses his health. Mm. Diseases and all kinds of things taken. The, the children's mind are corroded. The kids are going to school with guns and shooting each other up. He's running around trying to snatch guns out of black folks' hands, but his kids are the ones doing it. I'm saying, call him out with black. Mm-hmm. It goes on. He's being police out there beating up black people in the street. Meanwhile, we just watch them cop stories. My wife said the one that give him a hard time when they trying to arrest him. Kid, a black man. They walk up and say, "Get in the car." He says, "Okay." Why? Because the nature, by nature, we're nonviolent people. Right. We're committed to it by nature. It's like any other preacher. You keep calling and keep calling him. Then he comes out there calling at you. That's right. And now, uh, with the spell being broke, I mean, not the spell being broken, but with the devil's end or the devil's rule being up. Is there, I mean, if we don't come together like you're talking about in unity and working together. Then they go back to the same conversation that Indula and Inky had with that new way back in the beginning of the time, where it's not really worth it. Mm-hmm. Inky won the right to germinate the planet Earth and try to do something by, you know, by breeding with y'all. You follow that? Yes. But then when he got here and lived with them and married one of them and had children, people started going bad and they started being spoiled by the knowledge. Then they had to, then they had to bring about the flood. Right. Well, now we're at that time again where we're coming in and when the devil has no rule, who's going to rule it? Right. And the people are not ready. They're supposed to be ready for this here. They're supposed to be groomed to be back in their position. You follow? But they yes. won't. They're, sur- they're surrendering themselves to him and his ways and his bad habits all over again. So mm. it only the cause then is total destruction. Mm. The elimination of it all. By great balls of fire. Which they already are finding in South America. Big, big, tremendous balls of stone that that stress was going to pull up, heat up, and send back. Right. They, they don't decide what they're doing there, how they get there, who put them there. I know Naki put them there, 